already just that camera on. Isn't that quick? Is that better? I think that's better. <laughs> Still have a cough, annoyingly. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. They're very good. I would, if, if somebody, you know, Jaguars are always a guitar, I'd recommend. Ow, my hair. Hello to you in Germany. Hello from London. Hello, 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 hello. I've got a bit of a voice back, which is always good. Do I still have the afterneath? I do indeed, yeah. It's a pedal I will never get rid of. Ah, I can imagine that does haunt you. Hello. Hello. Hello, Poland. Hello. No, there's not. It's easy to understand. Once you get your head around a Jag, they're not they're not complex at all. They're really easy to understand. They're great guitars, all Jaguars are. Love them a bit. Get a new puppy. Yeah, nice one. Uh, good evening. Hello. This is an Oswald. Woman tone. That's just tone all the way off. Uh... Circles, yes, I've, I've had it customised. No, you got me so, yeah. Hello. Well, uh, hello from not exactly loud. Golden Plexi. Cheers. <laughs> I appreciate the thoughts. Favourite biscuits? Digestives? Come on, let's be serious. You can do anything on a Jaguar. I haven't, no, I ain't tried that, the Ibanez thing, no. Uh, I used the one inside my Zoom G2, tuner-wise. Thank you. Chocolate or plain chocolate, come on. I'm gonna do plain digestives. Indeed, I am a tree man. Uh, new album is recorded on digital, we can't afford tape, it's ridiculously expensive. What reverb is this? It's, uh, it's the Cloudburst. It's driving and Cloudburst. Is the Jaguar used to play for the Strat? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Fender Champion 100 Release Basic. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing you've tried the bass all the way off, right?
Next steps, learn different style. Get away from the John thing. Just go, go learn different style. Covers rules. Best smooth overdrive pedal. I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's really, it's, uh, I'll, I'll think. I recommend it. Reggae. Very hard to play properly. Just rhythm guitar, though. No lead. No, not at all. Not too girly at all. No such thing. What other bands are good to jam along with? Any. Any you like. Just literally, you like it, learn it, and play along. What do you know about Afterneath? What about it sets it apart? It's just weird. It's just out there and wacky, I love it. And it reminds me of my two French friends, so it can't be bad. That's a good shout. Yeah, the Durple's really good. Uh, really, really good. Black tea as well, actually, for that matter. It's it's a bit milder than the Golden Plexi by Tone Tea. Deal with finger cheese. Does keep it clean, yeah. I mean, wipe down your guitar after every time you played it and just keep on top of it as best you can. You can only do so much with that. Dan Polanski, yeah, he's not really uh, my cup of tea, but yeah, he's a great player, but he's not my kind of thing. Seen the new debut series Squire's Boy on Amazon. I don't think I have, actually. No, I haven't seen the Fallout fit. I need to, I need, I need to watch it. I haven't, I haven't got around to doing it yet. Will the new album be available on Spotify? Sadly, yes. But it, uh, I don't know when it's coming out yet. There's no release date on the album yet because we're not, it's not mixed, so we're still mixing it. Started any recording sessions. Red Giant, yeah, thanks to the Kickstarter, um, we got into a studio. We got into a really nice studio for a couple of days, got it recorded. Like I say, all we need to do now is mix it. Uh, but obviously that's going to take a period, uh, that's going to take a bit of time and then obviously we need to figure out release dates and PR and all this other stuff, so. Turn the bass off, still quite boomy. Is it on the floor? Is your amp on the floor? Challenging technique you've ever tried. Eight finger tapping. That was a, you know, that was a hard technique to get done with fingers. Mixing, yeah, basically getting the le levels right on all the guitars and stuff. No boo lessons planned, not yet, no. Uh, have you ever visit Nicole Marjo again? Definitely. You ever see yourself teaching guitar? I mean, I, not really. I'm not really a very good teacher. Here's an Oswald, yes. You can see that there. Uh, yeah, it's the Oswald Jaggy gave me a long time, uh, a couple of years ago now. I've had it modified though with humbuckers now, so. Can you get a pedal? Yeah, just go to your local guitar shop. I'm sure they have loads. Am I going to see Liam Gallagher? No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, on the floor. Try and get it off the floor. Elevate the amp. Sometimes amps when they're on the floor, it just it, it, it just increase, increases the bass. Try that. I mean, 
Other than that, it shouldn't really be as bassy. What, uh, what kind of pedals have you got running in? What have you got running into it? Did a whiskey clean throw? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would I ever do a how to play maggot brain? No. I can't play songs. It's YouTube. This isn't allowed. <laughs> Live on a narrow boat. Oh, that could be it. Why is B flat so hard to slow over? Hey, it's not that hard. <laughs> but I know what you mean. It's because there's no dots. It's like a G sharp minor or, or anything like that. When, when there's kind of no dots, your brain kind of gets a bit carried away. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> oh, crikey. RPF pickups is dynamic and a touch of center. It was a strap P90. Good PFs are, yeah. Did you fit the humbuckers? I didn't know. Uh, my the, the guy at Balufu who does my guitar, John Lavoie, did it for me. Do you ever like any radioheads? Yeah, I like loads of radiohead songs. Do you ever thought about a death prog metal concept album? A few times. I love Buckethead. <laughs> hey. Cool. I do still have my jet, yeah. Are Squire Jags okay? Yes, they definitely are. How to play like John Live's art? I don't know. Yeah. I will do, it's just having the time to actually get around to doing it and figuring out which ones to do. You have a chance to play in the States? No. <laughs> and Wingman or Baum guitars? No, I've never tried them. Eric Carter? I don't know any Eric Carter legs. Yeah, I'm alright. <laughs> I got a private chair. I wish. Call that pedal show, Dave. Uh, I don't think that pedal show wants me on their show. Origin amp's great. Is that an Oswald Jag? It is indeed. Something. If I miss your uh, question, by the way, I do apologise. It goes quite fast. No, it's because I use side state amps and budget gear. From what? Uh, from a comment that was left quite a while ago, they weren't so keen on that. Thanks to Marshall Master Lee today. Nice. Yeah, Jaguar necks are different. You got a shorter scale length as well. Ace. <coughs> yeah, we're in an A minor if anyone wants to play along. Favorite alternate tuning, probably open C. Boss Blues Driver is too bright and sounding. Sorry, I missed that one. Uh, what is the simple biggest trip? To tip to play like Rory Gallagher. Don't baby the guitar is one thing. Rory would always dig in. He would hit the guitar really hard. Um, it's hard to say. There's, there's not one tip that will make you play like Rory. There's, he's too complex of a player to just go, oh, just do this. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Am I doing better with my mental health? Uh, I'm trying. Uh, I am in therapy for it. And, um, you know, it's, it is helping, but uh, it's, a, it's a long road. Brad Delson, I don't know who that is. Oh, thank you very much, Tiny Throttle for the five pound. Thank you very much indeed, I appreciate that. Have a G chord. Yeah, I know. How's the weather today? It's really nice, but it's really cold. 
Like, the weather itself is, like, really nice. It's a really pretty evening, but it's really cold. Thank you. I will do. Thank you. No worries. Have a good one. Can you play something? I am. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, it's, it's the, uh, it's, oh, fucking cloud burst. They went space echo. I was like, what's that about then? What is that top people called? Uh, a humbucker. Uh, <laughs> uh, Phil. I don't know. <coughs> you want more? Do you mean like what model? Do you think some pedals are worth five, ten pounds of price for budget pedal? No. You're endorsed by any brand, or do you mostly play whatever you want? I'm endorsed by uh, a few, but there's only one company that I feel I'm actually endorsed by. The other two, I don't know why I'm endorsed by them, because they don't talk to me, they don't show any interest whatsoever. There's only one company I'm endorsed by who I actually in, like being endorsed with. But that's all I'm going to say on that one. Yeah, white tone. You need a travel booster to get that. <coughs> Carbus is well, yeah. It's, it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a budget pedal, but it's not exactly like a high spec pedal. You know what I mean? Got lots of shows coming this spring and summer. No. None. Can you tell I'm really happy about that? <laughs> I'm sure you're not. No, I'm, 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 I bet loads of people don't like the look of Jaguars or Mustangs. Me, personally, love them. Any more out about videos? Hopefully. What humbuckers? They're uh, end whistle humbuckers. I forget the, uh, the number or what the model now, but they're hum end whistle ones. Whose strat do you like more? Rory Gallagher's or John Fashanti's? Just fake. John's. I love Rory's, but John 60, John 62 is something else. Have you tried short scale strat replacement next? No, I haven't actually. TV talk show. <laughs> Can you imagine? <coughs> How do I get better about practicing? You don't. If you don't practice, you don't get better. Simple as that. What was your first slash leg? Uh, it, it, was the, it was learning the Godfather theme. Uh, that was that was the first thing I learned the slash dude. Essential live pedals, oh god. There's quite a well, not quite a few. I mean, I'm happy to just go into an amp, but um, Marshall Governor, Golden Plexi, a wire pedal, DS2, Zoom pedal, Delay, Mel, Cloud Burst, you know, those ones. Uh, what central? Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, how many hours do you usually play? I don't know. I don't. I don't time it or anything. I just play when I feel like it. What is the difference between Jags and Jazzmasters? Um, I think a Jazzmaster is normal scale length. <coughs> a Jaguar is a short scale. Same as the Mustang. Um, you've got different pickups in a Jazzmaster to a Jaguar. Uh, certain other bits and pieces as well that I, I think are different. I don't really like Jazzmasters personally. Hardtail versus Trem. Both. Don't mind either. Hans Zimmer chord. You can do that quite easy actually with a cloud burst because all you need to do turn the volume all the way up on your guitar and do this.
you never know some play. <coughs> will be the vid, uh, vids in the Red Giant channel. Yes, there will. Yeah. Working on it. Uh, what did you have trouble with early on? Uh, a lot. Everything. You know, earlier on it was, it was tough. Uh, you just got to practice. Uh, Val Tega resonate. Uh, sorry, I've missed it. Sorry, they go so quick. Can the Marshall MG30 get a good John Dirty clean tone? Yeah. Kind of, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, if you're going to go for a small amp, try and get a Katana 50. Cloudburst is amazing. Uh, Cloudburst. Drive and Cloudburst. What do you think the Zoom G2.1 has a bad rep? Because they're cheap. It's the same as the Marshall MG I'm going through right now. People, like, say bad things because it's cheap and you know it's simple as that people have bees in a bonnet about things like that <coughs> uh marshall mg hcfx any good no i don't I, personally i don't like them i mean you might try it but i don't like those ones a good distorted tone careful don't crank the treble focus on the mids you don't need loads of low end. You don't need loads of high end. You need mid range. Going to VO2 to see Talk. Nice. Find your phaser. Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I think if I was pushed, I'd have to go for a flanger. Uh, very good guitar player. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, would you get a 20 watt or 100 watt Marshall Silver Jubilee? Uh, I would if I could afford it, uh, but it would have to be 100 watt. I'm not going for the small one. Uh, did you say a Les Paul? Nope, definitely didn't. Recommend any pedals for distortion? Um, Boss Mega Distortion, uh, DS1, DS2, uh, the G Glove by Electro Harmonics. <coughs> oh, it was a load. <laughs> Do you like Marshall DSL amps? No, I don't. Uh, what is the most expensive guitar you bought and been disappointed with? <sighs> Tough to say. Ah, oh, no, I've got one for you. Um, way back when, way back in the day, uh, I bought a Fender Light Ash Telecaster. And uh, it looked gorgeous. It was stunning, stunning looking guitar. Gorgeous. Uh, I was actually going to buy a Tokai, but then I saw the Fender and got wowed by the Fender name and bought the Fender instead. Shouldn't have done that. It was a mistake. Should have bought the Tokai, but you live and learn. So I went and I bought this Light Ash Telecaster, uh, and I, I think it was about 450 odd quid, <coughs> which at that point in time, well, at that point in time, still at that point in time, is a lot of money. Um, and, um, I just remember everything about that guitar was wrong. Literally nothing was good about that guitar. It, it wouldn't stay in tune. It didn't sound good. The neck was bad. The saddles kept falling. It was just a pile of crap. So, uh, that, that's the guitar. Are you married? I am not, no. Uh, is that pedal you use, can work on, yes, you can work on acoustic guitar, yeah. Josh Klinghoff riff. Don't know. Uh, I'd have to think about it. Is a Fender Tone Master Super Reverb too heavy, big to gig with? No. Uh, it's not heavy at all. You can lift it with, like, a finger. It's ridiculous. They're amazing. <laughs> Play a G chord. There you go. Also, sorry, I hate not being made. To, oh, sorry, I missed that. Uh, Victory V4 Sheriff preamp pedal. Don't know, I haven't tried it. Thoughts on the Wazacraft stuff? It's good. It's good. Um, I haven't tried many, but the ones I have tried are very impressive. You ever look in cash converters all the time? You ever seen John Shanty live? Yes, I have. JSM 950 watt dual reverb versus Katana Mark 50, Mark 2. Uh, Katana. For me, the JCM900 is really, really good, but the guitar is better, in my opinion. Do I like any plural and stuff? Not really, no. Oh, thank you very much, indeed, Mr. Cards for the 999. Do you wish Tone Master Deluxe had a bright cap switch, and why do you like it? Oh. <coughs> um, it would be better if it had a switch, yes. 
Uh, I like it off just because I like darker sounds. You know, as simple as that, really. I don't like harsh, piercing sounds. I don't like bright. I like warm sounds. Maybe you know how poised to set your guitar up to yourself. I agree with that. Yeah, he's very true. Best strat under 500 bucks. Uh, I would say Jet, JS300. You messed around with the boss Slicer. Yes, but only in app form. Uh, they're really good. They're really, really good. I just mess around with it. I ain't got an area application for it yet. I just play around with it. How come you always carry a bottle of drink on your back pocket? Uh, because it's... When I talk, I get dry throat really fast. So if I'm doing a video and I don't have a drink nearby and I'm talking a lot, which I have a tendency to do, my throat dries out and my mouth dries out. So I always need a drink close by. Also, I also need it because my sugar level drops quite drastically sometimes. <laughs> I have to be careful. <coughs> Play a riff from a new album? I can. Um... What do you want to hear? Do you want to hear a really heavy... Well, I can't play a really heavy, but do you want to hear like a, a rocky riff or a ballady, uh, calm kind of riff from a new album? No worries. Thank you very much. How many overdrives on your pedal board? None. I have not, no overdrives on my pedal board. They're little distortions. Rock riff. Heavy riff. Okay, so let's do that then. Um... Yeah, I'll tell you what, here you go. So you game. <laughs> Why is it always buffering problems? Hi, John, by the way. Uh, Philip says, man's a monster. Hi, Ben, Super 15, worth it. The slash kind of tones. I don't really remember, to be perfectly honest. It is a good amp, though. So you're using the Fender Power Supply? Yes, I have. Yes, I am. Uh, it's, it's great. I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't play Alice in Chains because it's copyright. That's good. Oh, thank you. Uh, most famous blues guitar you've famed blues guitarist you've seen? I, I don't know. I haven't seen many. <coughs> Still playing 62 Strat? Yep. A lot. Needs a refret actually soon. Uh, you doing any more sounds like? Don't know. Talk to Anderton's. Uh, do you need do you need pedals if you have a guitar or amp? Not necessarily no, but it's always fun to have pedals. It is. So you can kind of have both. It's great. Andy Timmons. Love Andy Timmons. Uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Uh, Dave, are you gigging again? New dates. We, I wish I could say, yeah, we got loads of gigs. But we don't. We have two for the rest of the year. It's pathetic. But, you know, such is life. Humbucker versus single coil. What do you prefer for guitar? I need to buy a uh, I don't know. It, it depends what you're after, really. Do you think spending money on a tuner pedal is worth it? Yes. Uh, do you know how Rory Gallagher tuned his guitar when playing slide with a cap on a second fret? Depends on the song. Um, the, Rory used quite a lot of open tunings. Uh, open G was one of the main ones <laughs> he would use. What was the first song I learned? Basket Case by Green Day. Can I see the Battercaster? Is it okay? It is okay, but you can't see it, I'm afraid, because it's in a case and it's not here. It's in storage. Uh, have you tried or seen the Andy Timmons Halo? No, but I really want to try the Halo. Do you reckon if I get hold of Andy Timmons, he'll give me one? Uh, is your album only instrumental? No, it has singing on every song. There's no instrumentals on the new album. Uh, do you make your own pedal boards, Dave? I'm thinking of knocking me out. Uh, I have done. Uh, I don't for live. My live pedal board is a Diego board. <sighs> Cheers. Uh, best new band act that's made you appreciate new music? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Give you a Jimmy riff. Uh, don't know. 
I can't think of... I can't, I can't play Jimi Hendrix stuff. I can kind of play a Jimi Hendrix kind of sounding riff. But it's not Jimi Hendrix. Falling off stage, yes. Hurts. <coughs> no, I've never heard of a band called Alcest. No, I've never heard of them. Uh, have Anton's blanked you then, Dave? Um, no, I wouldn't say they blanked me. I just don't know. I just don't know what's going on. You know, if if anybody wants to know what's going on with Anderton's, you have to ask Anderton's. I don't actually know what's going on. Like I say, at this point in time, I, 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 I don't run that business, you know. It's not up to me to say anything. Uh, what do you set your action and neck relief? Uh, I like a bit, a little bit of relief in the neck, and I don't like the action high. It's kind of like a, a medium height. Uh, good evening. Uh, definitely Hendrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not bad. How I've been playing? Uh, 22 years this May. <laughs> Can I have a shower, please? Who are you? Rose. Shout out to Rose. Have an A minor. No, actually, that's no, too sad. Have, an, have a C major chord with a bend. There you go. That's for you. Best many of those stuff. That are interesting. I'll look them up. Uh, any update for Shanty Board anytime soon? Uh, how do you mean, John, for Shanty Board? Do you use the same string gauge on every guitar? Does it depend? Uh, no, I use the same string gauge now. I used to vary it with between nines and tens, but I just use tens on everything now. Uh, what's the what's the list with you? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, could you play some Java Shanty? I can't, sorry, no, copyright. I can't play Nirvana either. Are we hearing sound with your camera mic? Yeah, it's just camera, it's just a phone. Uh, one pedal, one amp, one guitar. One pedal. Zoom G2, one on you. One amp, Marshall MG, and one guitar, my white strap. Any new pedals or update from previous videos in the past? Uh, not, well, maybe, I don't know. You'll see tomorrow. One second, I'm just going to turn the light on. <coughs> and he's back. It gets dark fast, man. Uh, Call to the Bend. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? Uh, are you buying all the good stuff from Laugh Crash Converse? I've got some great stuff. Uh, no, not at this point in time, because I, I haven't got any money. Is there a way to play those songs without being copyrighted? Probably not. I don't know. <coughs> I could... Oh, that's, I could play it. I'm in E flat. It might get well. I don't know. I don't want to push it. No worries. Have a good one. Uh, you ever smashed a guitar on stage or at home? No. I have been involved in breaking a guitar, but it wasn't my guitar. But I was young and stupid. Uh, what are the strings you use? Diodario. Like, religiously, Diodario. Best strings in the world, bar none. And I know I'm not endorsed. I wish I was. It's bloody expensive to keep up with the amount of strings I go through on all the guitars I've got. Where's Diodario when you need them? Anyway, uh, uh, would you like to do a feature with Kentucky? Not I don't like doing collaboration-y stuff. It's not really my kind of thing. Do you prefer Vox or Crybaby Wild? Vox. <laughs> I don't like True Bypass, though. I really don't like True Bypass Wild Wild Pedals. When playing slide on my guitar, it's always hard to play on a high E string. How do you do it? Just... It's just, again, you'll learn. Your guitar will show you how much pressure it wants. And you'll adapt to it. YouTube worth it for any new guitarist trying to make a name for themselves. Yes. What guitar do I most regret selling? There's a lot of guitars I regret selling. Like, a lot of guitars that I regret selling. But, um, probably the number one. Well, I know there's not even a number one. But the one that always sticks in my head is my Revelation Thin Line. 
Uh, how would you boost a plexi into metal? Which pedal? Probably just a tube screamer. Like a TS-8 or something. Uh, played Prestige Ibanez. No, I haven't actually. Uh, what's the pub called on half opposite Barclays down the alley? Oh, Cobble's Bar. Cobble's Bar. Uh, do you like 60s, 70s soul and R&B? Yes, I do. Don't listen to it a lot, but I do like it. Thank you, Tyra's absolutely sublime. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much indeed, Alison, for the five pounds. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. You can have a have an F major because it's really really cool. Do it here. With some tremor. There you go. Yeah, it's rather rather cool, wasn't it? It didn't used to look like this. I've modded it. Uh, comment, you recommended. Because the Katana does just as good job as any Marshall. And in all fairness, Marshall's... Uh, it can be hit and miss. Katanas are just great. They do everything. Favourite favorite of crisps? Tough. There's quite a lot. I have quite like a lot. Happy birthday. You play guitar. Good. Uh, could you play some Krishanti Groove, please? Uh, what kind? John's got many. <coughs> Hello from Uzbekistan. Hello. <coughs> Good how do you uh Nope, I do not. Scar tissue kind of thing. Oh, thank you very much, Jay Spears, for five pounds. Thank you very much. Cheers. I'll need it. <coughs> minor chord. Okay. Um, you can have one of my favourites, C sharp minor. I uh, technically C, C C sharp minor would be yeah. Technically it's in C sharp minor because I'm E flat, but you know what I mean. There you go. Give you some tremor though. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a mastery trem. Very very nice tremor though. Let's hear your originals. Which one? Can you play Remember You? No, I can't. Ingve Malmsteen, feel or not? Oh, I like Ingve. Feel questionable, but I like Ingve. Uh, I'll I'll see what I can do on that one. I can't promise anything, but I'll try it. Nice. Is that a Jaguar? It is. <coughs> it is one of my road jobs now, yes. This guitar did not look like this when I got it. Spotify or Apple Music for best platform? Neither, if you're asking me, but what do I know? You look like a drunken rat. Really? I'll take it. Smash the system, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much, Barry, for the five pounds. I should play music and uh, make proud of the they are. No worries. Uh, have uh, an E-flat e, e minor chord for up here with a volume swell. 
and a clear cloud burst as well. One guitar that I don't have now, what would it be? Uh, can I say John Frusciante's 62 Strat? <coughs> Tips on making a guitar sound like a violin. Uh, it depends on what you kind of after a violin wise, because you can do things like that where you just like have uh, volume swells. Uh, other things you can do is just kind of having like loads of sustain and reverb. Reverb always helps everything, but you can do stuff like this. Like... <laughs> There's a few things. I mean, I'm not, I don't know. It's tough to say. The Black Hospital Jack. It wasn't black, it was blue. It was that one, yeah. Uh, what, I was never really a big fan of that colour, so there was a sunburst underneath, and I decided I wanted to uncover it, so here we are. Uh, Glissando guitar, I've never even heard of them. Thank you. C1, no, I never tried, I never tried, I never have done that. Uh, have you ever needed an SG? Sorry, I missed that one. It's just gone. <laughs> I think it was taken away. You a Mega Eric Clapton series? No. Uh, when is a cloud burst vid coming? Um, I don't actually know. Without my calendar, I don't know. It's not far away. It's not far away at all. It is next month, though. Yes. Uh, you ever played Thunderstruck by AC? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Thank you. Opinions on the 92 Squire Mange Band 62 Strat. Wayne's World. They're great guitars. Bid you good night. I bid you good night as well. Have you seen her to play with the new XMG30? I don't remember. I think I have. I don't think I liked it though. Uh, Dave, you need an SG guitar. I do. You're not wrong. I haven't found the right SG yet. We're, st we're still working toward that one. Good evening. Thank you. <coughs> still got the Gibson. Yes, I have. Jet Guitars versus Squire Classic Vibe. Uh, they're on the level, the same level for me. Classic Vibes are, you know, Jets are just as good as Classic Vibes. Uh, do you listen to 90s? Yes, I do. I grew up in that period, so yeah. Reverb or delay? Reverb. I'm writing a song about it. Why? Uh, is there any guitar model you've never got on with? Um, not really, no. Telecasters are a bit funny for me. Uh, and a few others are a bit funny, but I still love them. Love you too. Uh, love the tree in the background. Where did you procure that? Uh, Queenie got it from somewhere. I, I don't remember where. I think it was eBay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, would you keep or sell the Wayne's World Squire? I don't have one. So, if I had one, I'd probably keep it. But yeah. Ever played a banjo? Yep. Uh, is Hendrix the best guitarist ever? He's one of them. If it wasn't for Jimmy, I don't know where the guitar would be. Local gig update. <laughs> I don't have an update. We don't have any. We have two gigs for the rest of this year. And I'm very angry about that. <coughs> any music festivals you attend throughout the year? Not really, no. Mm -mm. 
I'd like to try it. Uh, SX, Strato SX, good guitar. Can be. It depends on which yet. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sack your agent. Boxes or briefs? Boxes. <coughs> <coughs> Stratos, Paul, if you had to pick one for Desert Island, Strat, any day of the week. K system. Um, I'm not really the one to ask about a K system because I don't even know what it is or how it even works. Um, it's got something to do with inversions. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I didn't learn that way. Um, so I can't really say. I mean, what I did is I just learned anything I wanted to learn. So if there was a certain solo way to learn or a technique or, or a chord progression, I, I would just learn that. Uh, and I would recommend doing that. I wouldn't necessarily kind of go solely the theory route. Theory is really important. You need to know your theory. But it comes when it you're ready for it. Uh, as far as the K system goes, I mean, I really don't have any idea about that. I really don't. I do apologise. <laughs> Top three John Fashanti albums. Inside of Emptiness is my favourite. Empyrean and uh, Shadows Collide. Did you learn theory? Yes, I did. I do know theory. Uh, are there any famous bands that have come from Lincolnshire? I have no idea. Uh, does everything really stem from a major? Notes? Yes, it does. Everything comes from a major. Uh, looking forward to hearing the new Red Dragon. Uh, Red Giant, you mean. Red Dragon is really cool, though. Saxon, yeah, thank you. <coughs> also, um, Bernie Torpin came from here. You know who he is. Was it him or was it Rod Temple's? I can't remember. <laughs> thank you. Tone would debate. I, I'm not getting dragged into that one. I don't have an opinion. Uh, I can play the snow riff, but I'm not going to. It's a one-way ticket to copyright. <coughs> what do you think about Sid Barrett? Um, yeah, Sid Sid, isn't he? I mean, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of his, his music, to be perfectly honest with you. Bernie, thank you. I got confused. Oh yeah, all the time. That's right for fighting, yeah. <coughs> Valve State VR, v, VS100 combo. Very good. Great amp. I feel learning your way is more way for me. Yeah, not, not a good kid. Yeah, learn what you want to learn. Seriously, don't ever tell, don't let anybody ever tell you any other way. You know, there are times when you do have to ask people and, and you will have to bend their ear and get them to tell you things but you have to walk your path it's not it's not anybody else's path to walk you have to be you know do what you do you ever done a review on a video on a sitar no but i'd like to uh you should go to turkey maybe one day uh hello Dave. nice biscuit river thank you sounded like andy summers inspired yeah it's that ad nine chord isn't it uh cheap guitars worth upgrading yeah if you need to some cheap guitars don't need it uh, have you ever thought or tried playing in Spain, Portugal? I would love to. It's just not that simple, sadly. I would, we, you know, we would love to play all over the place, but it's just not that simple. Maybe one day, I don't know. Well, personally, Sheer was the guy. That... All right, really? I didn't know that. That's cool. <clears throat> I have a question. Why is it favorite synth dance music band? Like, like the Prodigy. Probably the Prodigy. I grew up listening to the Prodigy. I do like Aphex Twin as well, though, so. Uh, 
Name a car for an edit. I have no idea what that means. John Fashani's turn on Neandra. Uh, the thing about that is there's no amp. He's just plugged into a tape machine. So it's kind of hard to replicate that without, you know, without just plugging into a, an old four track. Do I go to music festival when I was young? Yes, I did, yeah. What do you think about Josh and the Red Chili Peppers? Didn't like him in the Chili Peppers. We you ever cover Aphex Twin? I don't know. That'd be cool, though, wouldn't it? That's a really good idea. I might, I might look into that. Couldn't get it out. So, yeah, sometimes they're, they're really hard to get out. It's, it's tough sometimes. <clears throat> Best period for rock music. I don't know. It's still going on. Favorite solo of all time. I don't have one. There's too many to pick one. Taxi is right. Yeah, great song. I can't play it, but yeah. Does the string feel looser on a, on a short scale? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would, I would say kind of. I don't know. It's hard to say. I can't play covers. I'm not playing I'm not going to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to figure out some Apex Twin, aren't I? Uh, force it to stop trying. Um, if it literally doesn't want to move, don't try. Just don't try it. Tony Iommi, love Tony Iommi. Name an NBA player. I don't. I don't follow NBA. I don't know. Um, Michael Jordan. There you go. It's an old one for you. I do love basketball, but I don't follow the NBA. Oh yeah, yeah, you, you have to get through that. <coughs> get times like that all the time. I haven't heard anything from her, no, no. More happy birthday, Johns, of course, every year. Uh, do you like new muse? Yes, I do. Will it work if you put pick up your way? No. It doesn't work that way. Pre-order for the new Red Album? Uh, not yet, no, apart from the Kickstarter, but other than that, no, there isn't, there isn't a pre-order yet. There probably will be at some point, but just not yet. We haven't finished the album yet, it's still in the mixing stages. We have a signature guitar, hopefully not, but you never know. We'll see. Never say never, let's just say that. Do you play another instrument? Kind of, not very well. I mean, I like Josh, I really do. I think he's an insane guitarist, I just didn't like him in the Chili Peppers. <laughs> Intro jams, are they one take? Yes, they are. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> Please can you tell me amp tone settings you're using now? Uh, there's kind of no point. Your amp will never sound like that using these settings. But if you must know, uh, I'm on the OD1 channel on my amp. Gain is set to one. Uh, no bass, no treble, no contour. Channel volume is all the way up. Mids are at one o'clock. And then I've got a golden plexi pedal on as well. Which is set with the gain really low, volume at 12 o'clock, and tone all the way off. Do you still play vintage brand guitars? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I still play the, the ones I've got. Have you listened to Phil Stacey? I have, yes. <coughs> is there any new music that you like? Uh, not really. I'm a bit of a grouch for that kind of thing. There is a few things I like, though. You ever listen to, uh, you ever listen to play Defender Strike after Roll and Power? No, but I'd love to. Those Roll and Power Jags, uh, Strats, sorry. I'd really like to play one, but no, I've never, I've never tried one, but I've 
like to. Which check is this? It's an Oswald. <coughs> yeah, weird. Favorite style of pickup? Uh, anything that's low powered, basically. My favorite pickup of all time is the Tex Mex single call. Strats, basically. I don't know who Kelly Joe Phelps is. Sorry. Have you ever owned a vintage Fender or Gibson? Yes, I own a 62 Strat. I've got a 79 Strat as well. <coughs> I've got an 88 Strat as well. <coughs> Sorry, everyone. Hi. Jeff Heath, I wish. Not quite as good as Jeff. Are you still playing a 62 strap? Am I still paying it off? No, I'm not. Uh, have you ever owned an Epiphone Casino? No, but I'd like to, as long as it was a good one. Yeah, exactly. Uh, opinion on Kemper Profiler. Uh, never tried one, so I can't really say. Um, I would like to try a Kemper, but I've never, never been near one to even to even try one. So I don't, I don't know. Way too expensive. I think I would agree. To honestly, they're a bit mental, aren't they? You'll take it. Yeah, that that's never too far away from that thing. Uh, why are Led Zeppelin so good in your opinion? I don't know. They just filled a niche in there at the time. Uh, am I late? Sadly, yes. I'm going in about a minute. So I do apologize. Strat net pick up in a Telecaster. Yes. Do you still use your Zoom G6? No, I don't. Uh, I, I got rid of that. Wasn't using it enough to warrant keeping it. Uh, Paul McKenna for £10. Thank you very much. Keep a good word, Dave. Uh, are you planning to do lesson videos again? Yeah, when I, when I can figure out what to do lessons on. I will do, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much indeed. See you later. All right. And on that note as well, on this note, I'm going to get off as well because I, I don't want to I don't want to push my voice too far. But thank you very much for everyone who donated on Super Chat. Thank you all for watching as well. 
And uh, yeah, I'll see you again very soon for another, well, I'll see you tomorrow. I've got a video coming out tomorrow that's uh, an extra video that should be really, should be fun. So tune in at 6 p.m. UK time on this channel. You'll see what I mean. So uh, anyway, yeah, everyone enjoy their evenings or mornings or wherever they are. Yeah, enjoy it. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye-de-bye. Bye-de-bye.